everybody, Anne here, just sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all of you in the beautiful sunshine. The sun is just now starting to come up over the trees and it's going to be hitting my solar panels in a little bit here. I'm just hoping that that other connector comes in so I can see if I can use my other solar panels along with it because they're going to be easier to move around. And um, I, I'd like to be able to put the larger solar panels and in, in one area and only move them twice during the day but the little harbor freight solar panels that don't bring in as much power I can still move them around and I can still boost what I'm bringing in just by moving them anyhow um, I'm obsessed with my solar right now I'm just so happy but anyhow yeah today uh, I'm gonna go look around my garden at things because some of the stuff is not doing so good but before I do, take a look at who visited me yesterday. Look who's back! Mr. Lucas! He's already done all of this. I've been going around picking up twigs and whatnot. Let's see if we can get him to wave. Hi, Mr. Lucas! No beer this time. He's so awesome, I love him. I was about to show you a bunch of gardening and laundry footage, and then this happened. Well, I had a visitor up on my porch, and Mr. Lucas comes to the rescue. Check this out. This sucker is still freaking moving. Look at that. I can't even see it, because it's just... Oh my God! Hold on, let me see if I can film this and look at its tail is still going. It's got a diamond shaped head. It doesn't have the round head. White oh. belly. White belly. Hold on a second. I don't even know if this is filming right. That's what it looks like on its underside. I don't know. It looks like it has a diamond shaped head. It is still moving. Look at that mouth. Look at that freaking mouth. Oh my freaking lord. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh. Looks like a black racer. A black racer would have flew off down through there. They, they, chase, they tell you, I was a kid, they went, they used to chase me. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It is still moving. The head is not round. It is, I wish I could get it to flatten out because it is, see that? It's. It looks like it's diamond shape. I have no idea what this is, guys. But Mr. Lucas comes to the rescue. What is that thing you got there? Steel blade. Huh. It's still moving. What do we got to do to get it to stop moving? What thing? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. What it is. Oh, I know. I Mr. Lucas feels animal. bad. He feels bad. He didn't want to kill it, did you, Mr. Lucas? Well... It was, it, first of all, it came up to my screen and it was had its tail on its screen and its head was over this way. You didn't have to wash that blood off that porch, eh? Yeah, I will. I'll wash it off. Well, sorry to put you through that, Mr. Lucas. I had the shovel in my hand. Mr. Lucas took it from me. He says, here, give it to me. Looks like he's digging me a hole and that's where we're going to put this thing to rest. I just need to poke at its head just a little bit. I don't know, you guys. When it was moving around, it looked like its head was kind of like diamond shaped. And I know you guys told me that those are bad. I don't know, maybe it's just a king snake. If it's just a king snake, I'm not going to be so terrified because I know those are good snakes, but this does not look like a good snake at all. Thank you so much, Mr. Lucas. Oh my gosh. That was a big snake. What can I do to not have any more snakes on my porch? Yeah, so I just got to get used to it then, right? 
looks like a black racer to me. I don't know. Now, black racers, are they bad snakes? This thing wasn't moving, though. Gosh, thank you, Mr. Lucas. Oh, my goodness. All right. Maybe it was just a king snake. Black racers are, are they venomous? No. No, okay. I don't reckon. I don't think so. Whew. I know a guy I went to school with, Billy Busby. Yeah. He used to catch him. He'd catch him and swing him around like that and pop the wheels. Oh my gosh. He did rats and shit the same way. That doesn't... You know, in the barn, the rat hole, he'd run his arm up in there. Run his arm up in there and pull, pull the rat out and he'll... Wow, that does not sound like my kind of pastime. Oh, you just cannot stand them weeds, can you? <laughs> He's going to go around my whole property and do my weeds. All right, Mr. Lucas, thank you so much. I'm going to wash up that blood over there, get some water. Just be careful coming in now. I did get the blood cleaned up, and Mr. Lucas went home. Um, I'm sitting here drinking some lemonade, trying to chill out a little bit. I haven't even researched what kind of snake it is. Um, if I do, I'll try and tack that onto the end. Otherwise, you can tell me. I hope it was harmless. But then if it was harmless, I'm going to feel bad that we killed a harmless snake, but I, I mean, I don't know. It was up on my porch. It was crawling on my screen. Thank goodness I had it. The screen kind of pulled up and shoved in, um, and then Betty was out in the yard. Um, I was working on the garden beds down by the street, and that's why Betty was like that way and not on the porch. Um, but it just laid there. I mean, it laid there the whole time I went to go get Mr. Lucas. It moved just a tiny bit, but... Um, and he was very uncomfortable killing that creature. Uh, he didn't like it one bit. He doesn't like to kill creatures like that at all. Um, but I was freaking out. So he came to my aid and I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll just show you the footage of what I did yesterday, tomorrow. It's not a real big deal. I want to talk about my plants a little bit. Um, need a little bit of uh, advice because I feel like I'm failing. <laughs> um, I did a ton of laundry today and I used my washboard, washboard, can't even talk, I'm just so nervous. Um, used my washboard and that made it just so much better. The clothes got cleaner. Um, they're all hanging up now and it's a sunny day so they're probably even dry by now. Um, it took me, I want to say, a couple of hours to do the laundry and I mean I'm still not done I still got to bring it in and fold it but other than that um, I transplanted I, I thinned out the cucumbers and I grabbed a couple cucumbers and put them down by the street um, I was gonna build these little trellis thingies and I'm just gonna do that tomorrow I need to be more resilient because I'll tell you what I already know that there's weird bugs here the bugs don't bother me so much except for that I hate the ticks. I mean the spiders don't even bother me anymore. But the ticks really bother me. Um, the snakes really bother me. And, and and it's because I don't know if they're ven venomous. I don't know if they would kill my dog. Um, so I think, I think the way that I'm going to get through this is by gaining knowledge. Knowledge truly is power. I know that sounds cliche but I need to learn every kind of snake native to my area and I need to know which ones I need to kill and which ones I just need to shoo off. Um, I'm hoping that I can learn that very quickly. So, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of sitting here freaking out. That was a big dang snake. But you know what? Part of me is like, can I eat it? <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, I think that that's, that's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Whew.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.